In this video, I'm gonna be going over a disarticulated view of the sphenoid bone. If the sphenoid bone sits like this, just like that, I'm gonna be taking it out. And as you can see right here, there's these little wing structures. These are the lesser wings. And these bigger wing structures are the greater wings. Located on the lesser wings are these little holes. These are your optic canals. Now between the greater wing and the lesser wing is this big open space. This is your superior orbital fissure. This U-shaped area is the cella turcica. It's this whole area that I'm circling. And this depression in the bone is the hypophyseal fossa of the cella turcica. And that is where your pituitary gland will sit. Okay? This oval hole right here, this is your foramen oval located right above the foramen oval is another circular hole right there. That is your foramen rotundum. Alrighty, let's see. So these holes in this whole space right here, these are called your sinuses this whole hollow cavity and this big chunk of the bone right here. This is the body of the sphenoid bone. So within the body are the sinuses, the open cavities. And oh, right here, these legs, if you remember, and if you watched the other video, I pointed them out in the skull. These are your pterygoid processes, and I'll show them again. So, right there. Let's get a focus. Perfect. So these legs right here are the pterygoid processes that you can see disarticulated right there. There you go. I think that's it for the sphenoid bone. That's all the structures that you'll need to know from this structure.